But what the the music stops. Music. I think I just came in at a bad time. Yo. It's a good thing I made that quiet before I made that sound, huh? What is up, everybody? Happy Thursday Eve. Happy Friday Eve. Sorry. Happy Friday Eve, Ranger Nation. What's up? Oh, my goodness me. Uh, we have so much rider stuff to take care of today. And then we have to cover it all because tomorrow, Friday, because this is legit, this is right this is friday on the other side of the pond we have hasbro pulse fan fest or whatever what is it actually called hasbro pulse fan fest yeah that's what it's called so that's happening on friday 
And the Dino Fury panel is going to be at about, and remember, sometimes these things go a little bit, you know, a little early one minute, a little late, you know, just so keep that in mind. But it's going to be around 12.15 Eastern. So 12.15 New York time, 11.15 Chicago, 10.15, I don't know what, Denver. So 9.15 a.m. For California. So y'all gonna have some coffee. It's not actually, you know what? It's 11.15. I will probably still have coffee too. Uh, but yeah, that's when hopefully we're gonna be finding out a little bit more uh, about, yeah, about, uh, about everything. So I'm really glad. I'm actually really happy that I am, uh, I'm streaming on Thursday. So that way, oh, you know, it's funny. I didn't even, uh, it's a good thing that this real, the live really is live uh, because I never hit record on my end to edit this part. So there we go. There we go. Rider Week event was awesome. Oh, man. We're just going to have to. We got to get to it. We got to get to it. So it's Thursday. I hope everybody's having a good week so far. Uh, tomorrow's Friday. And then for those, you know, people who are going to watch this afterwards, it is Friday. So I hope they're having a really good day, too. Do, do, do. I think we're all ready. There, there's just a lot, a lot to talk about this week. And so we're just, we're just going to end up covering it all. So I may as well get into it. Oh, wait. No, I got to leave. I got to leave the, the, Logo up. Okay. We got to get straight into business socks. All right. This is what we're doing. Hey, Liz. Oh, what's up? By the way, what's up, Chad? Omega, Donnie, Ryan, Larry. What's up, Jed, Moira? How y'all doing? Emmanuel, Alejandro. Alejandro. I like I like that name. Alejandro. Uh, Double C, Noah, Floof. Ellen in the chat. What's up, y'all? Um, thanks for being in the chat. Thanks for helping this Thursday night be awesome because it's Friday Eve. We have all this writer stuff to talk about, and then when you wake up tomorrow, we're going to have a crap ton of Ranger stuff to talk about. So for that, we all going to be happy. All right. <clears throat> we got our mm, serious face. Wait, it's really... Still don't know how to do that right. Right on time. Right, right, right. Oh, also, I'll have to find the link for real quick, but there's a, a, a Henshin video that Team Common Rider put out, and I was a part of it, and uh, the YouTube automatic thumbnail finder picked my picture as the thumbnail for it. I just consider it, you know, YouTube's way of paying me back for putting my face in their facial algorithm, you know, database for the FBI for so many years. I think it's it's good. Happy Thursday! All right. Oh, last yawn out. Drink. Oh. Okay. I'm recording on my end, so I think we should be good. And I'll put up that music a little bit. <clears throat> All right. Thanks for joining me. Um. Yeah. So if you're having fun, uh, share it to your friends. By the way, uh, let them know that the show exists and uh. Yeah, we have fun talking about Power Rangers and Toku. So, without further ado, except this ado that I have to yawn real quick, which is... I tried to cover it, but I'm really sorry for everybody who's uh, who yawned uh, because of me. Anyhow. Let's rock. Two... Three, record. Except I'm already hitting record. Happy Friday, Ranger Nation. You made it another week. Welcome to the Ranger Week in Review. It's a show that goes over everything that happened in your world of Power Rangers and Tokusatsu. Common Rider, crap ton of Common Rider this week. Sentai, little light on the Sentai. And some Ultraman news and a ton of stuff to look forward to in the world of Power Rangers. Coming up to you later today, for those of you watching it, Friday Later today, Hasbro Pulse Fan Fest is going to be happening. And yeah, new items, new releases. Can't wait to cover it. Uh, hopefully, fingers crossed, I'll have a little time and I'll be able to put out a video maybe Friday night. Now, since I, I have that available to me. And, you know, eventually one day, fingers crossed, I will be able to catch up on Dino 
Fury. So I hope you have a drink. It's a loaded show. Y'all kick back and relax because the Ranger Week in Review starts right It's funny because I can just, uh, I'm going to cut all this out. It's past 3 a.m. Ellen, you're a trooper, man. I can't believe you stay up this late. I appreciate it. Happy Thursday, Ranger Liz. What's up? Uh, it's like Cookie217. Donnie, everybody, thanks for being in. Jed, thanks for being in chat. Guys, woo. All right. I have to get back to the actual, the, the cut part now. This is all the secret backs behind the scenes stuff. Yeah. Hmm. Thanks for joining me, everyone. My name is Ranger Liz. Welcome to the Ranger Week in Review, the show that goes over everything that happened in your world of Power Rangers and Tokusatsu. We're going to have a lot of fun. Uh, wait. Did I already say that? I think I already did most of all of that. Can I hit, can I hit timeout? Can I retake that since I'm going to fix this in post? Omega, I've been subscribed to your channel for over two years, dude. Thank you so much. Thank you. I appreciate that. We're going to go. Yeah, we're going to try that again. This is take two. Ready? Go. Thanks for joining me, everyone. My name is Ranger Liz. Welcome to this silly program. And we're we're going to have a lot of fun tonight talking about a ton of stuff that happened to Kamen Rider and Power Rangers and what's going to happen to Power Rangers and Mick and oh, my God. It's going to be awesome. If you are new, one, please hit the subscribe button. I'd really appreciate it. And the bell notification. Or leave a like or a comment or whatever. But if you're also new, just know that I cover and the titles will be up there on the headers of where I am going for what I am covering. So without further ado, we are going to start talking about Power Rangers dino fury and mostly this is whenever i would start talking about just news in general but the only news of rangers in general is that we are going to be having hasbro pulse fan fest and we did find out later and i will let me get this it's uh don't miss out it is going to be at 12 15 eastern so we we'd worked it out earlier it's 11 15 my time i'm chicago time i'm in st louis so if you want, check in at that point. It's going to be on Hasbro Pulse's YouTube channel. Excuse me. And, uh, yeah, Mick, right? It is going to be on the Hasbro Pulse's uh, YouTube channel. So watch it. It is a completely free event. There was a, if you are a Hasbro Pulse premium member, you got a little preview. You got something on Thursday, and from all I saw, the only thing Rangers got was a pr little bit clip with Mick. Now, I haven't gotten to see the clip with Mick. I saw some stills, but that basically just means um, we are going to be getting him in number eight. That's right. I am surprised it wasn't going to be the Gold Ranger. That's that's cool. That's fine. Uh, we'll talk about that a lot more whenever it comes to um, Di like Dino Fury, the actual show. We'll talk about it because of episode 8. But what do you guys think? Uh, the other big thing, we are going to get a chat with the Power Rangers panel. I'm not, I guess the actual Rangers are going to show up. They've said there is going to be something with the cast of Dino Fury. I don't know if... It's going to be a, a q and I don't know if they're just going to say hi and more for us or something. I have no idea. So, fingers crossed, it's at least going to be something something kind of fun. Of the million things that it could be, I will say... <coughs> excuse me. I will say that toys are probably going to be one of the biggest things. And that's just going to be what figures haven't been released yet and so with this i'm gonna go and this is kind of merch news honestly but this is like this is gonna be happening tomorrow so this is kind of power ranger news so we're gonna talk about what we might be getting so this is from lightning fig pr if you're not following already on twitter and stuff uh you gotta you gotta you gotta but this uh he posted back on march 27th but it was a master list of everything that has been like floating around and stuff for power rangers lightning collection but hasn't actually been uh announced yet and there's a ton of stuff uh zooming in on it which and i'm sorry you guys can't very much 
But let's see. Um, if stuff that's going to be coming out in September, which is, you know, it's mid-April. They could be announcing. This would be like Wave 10. Uh, we've got an In Space one, probably In Space Pink and Yellow uh, Zeo, and then something from Green, which would also help clear up a little bit of that. You know, we don't know what everything in the codes mean. We also have uh, a Monster Wave 2 that's coming out in June. It's going to be Eye Guy and Piranha's Head. So I would say that's... Probably, uh, I don't, I don't want to say like a gimme, but they're probably going to talk about the next wave of of, uh, of monsters. So you can get your pre orders and coming out, you know, maybe in two months is all. So we can talk about Eye Guy and Piranha's Head. Then, you know, we start going into completely unknown things. We've got two packs of with a nuclear Venus. We got a silver photon one. Now we got another one that we're like, maybe could be astronomer. So there's a lot of things that could be announced, but we, we just, we don't know. And there's also a bunch of ones that we have codes for don't even match up into anything. Uh, they're, they're just there. There are codes that are out. We're thinking a lot of a squad stuff. And then we have those TMNT two packs again, Probably won't be getting any information about that, but I really hope that we do get um just just more. I I really want um I just want more for Dino Fury and for Rangers. Uh, this is a really nice uh, infographic. This was made over by No Pink Spandex, their Power Ranger podcast. If you had never heard of them, you should go check them out. I've been on the show a few times. Uh, so yeah, the post premium didn't really happen, but we're looking at April 9th. So we're going to have, yeah, FanFest live stream is going to be starting at 11. Power Rangers is at 12.15. And then the FanFest pre-orders go live at 5 p.m. So that is what you're going to want to pay attention to for anything that is going to be, you know, Pulse exclusives or anything that's going to be coming up, uh, that will be going live. Of course, does this actually mean that that is when they're going to go live? Well, maybe for Hasbro Pulse. I know all day, the entire day, we're going to be uh, checking. I know I'm going to be refreshing uh, Target and Amazon and Walmart. And I'm going to, you know, I'm just going to be looking to see if anything got put up early. Not sure, obviously, but just, hey, here's plug. Like, Follow me on social media at Ranger underscore Liz. Uh, tomorrow, my plan is bribing my child with Easter candy and being on my phone as much as humanly possible so uh, so I can do this. Um, fingers crossed. The, li the glorious life of a wannabe YouTuber involves the tantrums and whims of a four-year-old. Y'all know how it goes, right? Y'all know how it goes. But yeah, man. So that's Invest. I hope you're excited about it. I am just, we might be getting, you know, I don't want to be like, we're getting something. We're getting anything. But we legit have so freaking many. Um, I just realized I, I labeled things very wrong. We have uh, just so many awesome things that are going to be on the way that I, yeah, I, I just want to know. More about, uh, yeah, I'll pop that down there first. Let's talk about Dino Fury. I will start with, <laughs> you'll see it come through in a second. Kid will do just about anything for M&Ms, no joke. No joke. It's, it's taking a while, but on my end, I can see it. Thank you so much, Moira, for the soup. There! No joke, right? No joke. Uh, Dino Fury's a gym. Nick is an idiot for its hiatus. Right. Right, right, right. Um, Chad, just uh, it's time I want to complete the Dino Fury team. I really hope. Yeah, that would be great if they at least give us some images of the next ones. Because we still need the Green Ranger, the Black Ranger, Void Knight. Uh, we have another one, which is maybe the Gold Ranger. I was thinking it would be the Gold Ranger because he would be debuting before Hiatus, but now maybe it's just going to be another villain, you know? Uh, well, no, uh, Void Knight's a villain, so... Power-up modes already? Maybe one with, with new arms? Uh, it's thir it is the Thursday after April Fool's and after Easter. It's a... 
It's a weird time. Weird time, man. Weird time. So getting back to Dino Fury, we had last week episode six, Superstition Strikes. I like alliteration, but it's really hard to say. We'll talk about that one in, in, in just a bit. I'll give you, we don't have any previews or anything out for episode seven yet, uh, but that is going to be called Stego Search. Remember, we've already found Izzy's Zord uh, back episode five. So Stego Search episode seven, this is one we're going to be getting tomorrow if you're watching this Friday. The Warden takes away Javi's Kitar putting him in a bad mood, which he refuses to explain to the team. Bad Javi. Javi's forced to open up about his problems in order to find his Zord. So there we go, man. Episode 7 already, before we can even find the uh, Black Ranger Zord. I'll take that. I'll take that. And then we have this one, Episode 8. This is what we just got for Hasbro Pulse Fan Fest. Episode 8, Unexpected Guest. A familiar face arrives on Earth, and Zato dismisses his quest as a distraction. After he saves the Dino Fury Rangers from a powerful Sporex beast, Zato realizes an important lesson. So this is the picture that I wanted to put up for it, because this was apparently a still... Excuse me, this was a still from um, the thing that happened... The, the whatever preview and stuff that happened today. But there was something strange because like i think that's the that's not the mosasaurus that's whatever but i was like what in the world is that and then you're like oh okay man like right <sighs> that's going to be mick i mean yeah uh, here's a new one this is him i guess uh so look look at the dinosaur look at the dinosaur what in the world there was something strange there with feathers and <laughs> there goes mick love him Woo! Alan! Thank you, thank you, thank you! I may have never wanted to see someone selfie this much in my life. The fruit cameo potential. Hashtag hyperforce. Dare <laughs> you dream? Man, I would just... Uh, hyperforce. I, well, first off, I just love hyperforce in general. Y'all, I mean, hyperforce, right? Um, man, that's just... I, I can't wait. I'm I'm very excited about just getting him back and just seeing what they're doing with him, man. Uh, makes the best part of Ninja Steel. Kelson deserves some more screen time. Yeah, and I mean he's just been so many amazing characters. Why not bring him back? Let Let's see. Make me love his character again, or so. You know. Uh, I have, you know what? I feel really bad, but uh, I don't have many. Uh, I don't have any stills for episode six. As I'm going to talk about this real quick for superstition strikes, because I haven't done a review on it. Because this week was Common Writer Week, and I did. Uh, if you guys want to check this out, whatever later. But I did two streams with Team Common Writer. Uh, I did one on Wednesday, one on third, no, one on Tuesday, one on Wednesday. This is Thursday, and then I edit stuff, and I'm gonna be doing videos on Friday, hopefully. So yeah, I'm just, I'm just getting really behind already. But fingers crossed, this weekend, this Saturday, I can catch up a little bit. We shall see, we shall see. But uh, let's talk just a little bit about Episode Six: Superstition Strikes. Amelia thinks she's cursed with bad luck. She's reluctant to help. The Rangers, but Solon just had some amazing, like, Amelia and Solon, really, the way they connected, the way uh, it all went down, I was I was really, really happy with it. Uh, Solon's been around for a really long time and has some great wisdom that I think hasn't had a chance to really come out yet, and that's just simply, you know, we're more on the infancy of, of episodes, so I'm really glad to see that, that you know, like, there's, you know, she all she's seeing is the bad luck, and I, I really appreciate how Solon is like, no, it's because you're focusing on the bad, that's all you're seeing is the bad, look for the good, and you'll start seeing it, and I think, so this is this really weird, so way back in the day when I took, you know, when I was in college, I took uh, a lot of communication classes, because I like to talk, I'm sure you're going to be really surprised, I'll have to probably cut all of this for the other thing, anywho, I, I took a lot of communication classes and learning about just ways to communicate with other people. And one of them is called the halo effect. And the halo effect is basically once you learn something about someone or you, you see something about someone, that's all you're going to think. And so I want, I don't even know where I'm getting on this with the halo effect, but like 
you just see Ninja Steel and whatever, and you just think, oh, yeah, because of the, the, the bad luck. But once you're just looking for bad luck, all you're going to see is bad luck. Um, you just got to change your halo around it. Uh, so on is Dino Fury's Keeper. Dang straight, but way less creepy. Way less creepy. Uh, I enjoy the episode. I, you know, just, just looking back, I think, you know, one of the things for me still is like, I can't believe Warren Gar Warden Garcia didn't say anything when Amelia was by his daughter, but that's a whole nother thing. But, you know, really like, Looking in, it was good luck that she was in the base whenever everything was attacked. I'm going to have to watch it again. I really only got to watch it once a few days ago, so I need, need, need to watch it again. And I definitely will before I do a review on it. But that was the latest episode that happened in the world of Power Rangers, Dino Fury. And I'm, I'm going to bring up merch news next, which is usually not what I do. But instead, um... <laughs> Whoops, I'm going to take that last one. You'll see in a second. Merch news. Uh, the last little thing that I wanted to talk about was that there's going to be a new Ranger Slayer figure that is coming out. It's going to be uh, it's up on GameStop right now. If you want to get the pre-order in, estimated for August 2nd, going to be 60 bucks, uh, just like all the other ones. If you're interested in those figures, it's not necessarily my cup of tea because I, I, I have enough figures. I don't need... Yeah, I don't need any more figures. I don't need anything else. Uh, do you have anything really? Uh, Inferno Girl Red, if I can find... Let me toss a little comic news up. Inferno Girl Red is a Kickstarter still going on. When I last checked on it, $46,000 out of the $33,000 gold. So it is guaranteed. They're just working on stretch goals right now. So if you want to get in on backing it, if you want to get in on... Being a part of this, hopefully it's something that grows. Hopefully it becomes part of Radiant Black, which I just got today. Oh my gosh, I am so... Ah! Battle for the Grid? Yeah, yeah, Ranger Slayer's in uh, Battle for the Grid. Yup, yup, yup. Because she has this weird shoot ability. I have, I have fuzz all over. Look at this. Black shirt. Fuzzy. Oh, let's go to gaming news in a moment. Yeah, in a moment. I want to find the right picture that I gotta that I gotta show you for this. I think, yeah, we'll start. We'll go with this one. Let's move over to some gaming news. Ninja Power Ranger now. Whatever. Um, Tommy is coming, and then I and then I still. We're going to try that again. Can I do take two? Can we do take two on this? This is cool, right? Right. Let's move to some gaming news. White Ninja Ranger. <laughs> Tommy's coming. He's going to be out. If it's Friday where you are right now, uh, later in the day, he might already be out. But, you know, apparently it's, it's not a skin. It's an actual character. So he is on his way. I hope he has some some neat moves. Don't have any. Yay, Tommy! Right. Uh, this is one I I, I do want to chat about, and that is Remy is apparently coming to uh to Legacy Wars, and I can't believe I don't have. I was told I I have to shout out and give credit to who found this and I don't have the link right now so I'm, I'm gonna have to find that before I post notes anywho she's a skin of cat manx cat manx spd cat whatever remy solar ranger beyond the grid stars uh girlfriend of of solar ranger Very strange that that will be a skin for her. And it's kind of like just taking... And this is one... And I saw, and it's like, eh. Someone's like, you know, erasing the gayness. Um, at least, I mean, they still have on Solar Rangers. Uh, they have on Ari's thing. But it's just... It's just weird. Like, why? So this was found... It, it's going to be in the Corruption Zone. 
So you have to uh, unlock her if you want. Uh, she's going to be, it looks like zone 17 if you want her. And here's uh, another image that's going to show up just real quick. But this is just to, to show you that, yeah, uh, Catmanx and there she is. Right? And I just see, I just keep seeing, why? Superhero little one. But just, uh, right? Uh, which is, <laughs> sorry, but you gotta hear, uh, Floof, the only thing they have in common is being an alien race, humanoid aliens that have orange in their color schemes. Just a very surface level comparison. I agree. I agree totally. Where I, so, yeah, I don't know what's going on with that. Uh, wasn't announced or anything, but is in the game or is at least in the game code. So, we'll be keeping an eye on that um, wherever that goes. Moving over. Oh, yeah, I was going to get merch news. Why isn't there anything in merch news? Oh, yeah, Fan Fest. We had that lightning uh, collection thing, but really, it's just everything's going to be fan fest. Uh, maybe. Uh, yeah, maybe, maybe. We'll, uh... Why do you think Zeo Yellow was Solar Yellow? No, no, no. Zeo Yellow is, uh... Whenever the Solar Rangers got their powers, uh, she she was the Yellow Ranger. Y you're right on that, Omega. Um, but uh, th this character is kind of more of an orange. Yeah. Right? It's... That's, so that's it. It's just like, where's merch news? It's fan fest time. That's it. I don't have, actually, so this is, here, we're, we have to do take a serious moment, though. I, uh, I don't have an image, and uh, I'm, I'm going to fix that real quick. Because uh, cause something like this definitely deserves it. I'm going to toss that up right there. Um, Yeah, if y'all have a drink, whatever it is. I like you to raise one and salute the life of this man right here who uh, who passed away earlier this month. His name is Minoru Na uh, Nakano. He was 82 years old, and he basically he worked for Subiara Productions for 30 years. That right there, what you see from Ultraman, uh, basically the... Uh, Alien Balton is like you see that, and that was one of the, the earliest, like, whoa, special effects and stuff. Like, that was what he was doing. Um, he also worked on Ultra Q, Monsters, Busca, Ultra 7, and Mighty Jack for 30 years at CBR Productions. So, man, thanks for everything you did. You helped bring us one step closer he was a foundation a building block on the writer and the ultraman we stand on today for you minoru nakano i have this drink cheers ah i uh yeah that and i i never had the image on there i'll have to fix that in post i'm so sorry <laughs> i'll fix that in post no, but uh, that's yeah. It, it's sad that on, on one hand, it's it's cool that the genre that we love is still so youngish, but yeah, it's, losing these old guys is losing a bit of past. You know, just they they help bring the show to be what it is today. 